was your school authority and starting next month, most Oregon students will skip the classroom to focus on online learning, at least until November. It's not an easy adjustment for parents and kids to make, but as Fox 12's Haley Rush reports, there are some ways to make the transition a bit smoother. A new way to learn means a new space to learn. Yes, absolutely. Setting up a designated work area for your kids is so important. Julia Edelstein is the editor in chief for Parents Magazine, which is owned by Fox 12's parent company Meredith. She says now is the time to walk your kids around the house and ask them where they prefer to learn. Do you like doing it at the kitchen table near mommy? Would you like to be in your room? Uh, and let them pick out where they want to work. That will go a long way to getting them to sit there when it's time to work. She says turning that spot into a comfy workspace is the next step. Are they sitting in a chair that is sized for an adult and they're six years old and they can barely see over the table? You know, there are junior chairs that will lift them up a little bit and make it easier for them to write. Edelstein says now is the time to buy them an age appropriate tablet or laptop if their school doesn't provide one so they can independently log on to video chats and assignments. But she says the number one school supply everyone should get this year a huge whiteboard where you are writing out the schedule and how it's going to go so that your kids ha and you have a visual reminder of what the order of events is going to be, which parent is going to be watching them. Maybe there's no parent, maybe it's the iPad or the TV, but putting that all in there will cut down a lot on arguments and the kids running around crazy and interrupting your phone calls. Obviously it's fine if the kids interrupt, hopefully, um, if you have an understanding boss, but it's not fun even for you, you know? It's, um, it's nice to be able to focus on your work and to set yourself up to be able to have focused work time. She says another great tip is putting up a do not disturb sign on your door when you're on an important work call or in a meeting. You don't wanna have the sign up 24 hours a day, but it really helps. Kids need a reminder because they forget instantaneously when they need you, uh, <laughs> that maybe it's not the best time to come in and they have to wait. Experts also recommend a separate reading nook for your kids so they have a comfy spot for some quiet time.